Lots of exciting developments in pizza technology this week. Uh, first starting with a new development from Domino's uh, that they've imprinted and working along with DVDs to help you buy pizza. And so when the DVD player heats, you know, as the movie is playing, it will heat up the label on the DVD and it will eventually replace the image with the image of delicious tasty pizza and send the odor into the air. Or the scent, odor is a bad word. <laughs> Kim, how did this technology take so long? I know, I mean, Scents are very important to human beings. Yeah. And smelling delicious pizza usually makes us want to buy delicious pizza. And usually as the credits are rolling on a movie, I'm particularly uh, receptive to advertising, yeah. especially odor-based advertising. And it's this probably seems late like at night. A, like a slam dunk home run all in one. They, they deliver, Tim. <laughs> this is, there is nothing I don't like about this. Um, so they're proving that people still do buy DVDs and people are hungry for pizza very difficult to prove. Uh, I'm actually not confident people do buy DVDs. Well, they don't DVD. buy DVDs, but they rent them. This is, this is rental DVDs, and I think Domino's has made a huge misstep in the sense that nobody rents DVDs anymore. Yeah, they could. My dad does, and he eats lots of pizza. How far do you have to drive to find a Blockbuster right now, Kim? There was one near... Yeah! <laughs> Exactly right. That's not a thing anymore. Okay, maybe call Netflix. Maybe that is the way to go. Cause they if still my Netflix machines start pumping out pizza smell, I'm going to be a little scared. <laughs> you need to embrace technology. Um, so furthermore, in pizza technology this week, which is very important, mind you, NASA has granted a fund to make 3D printed food a reality. Uh, not just 3D printed food, specifically pizza. The grant was for $125,000 over six months to, I believe it's pronounced Anyon Contractor. Anyon. Or Anjan. I'm not sure, I apologize. And the goal of this is to create a way to print food made out of powderized ingredients. And these powderized ingredients could have a very long shelf life so that they could sustain travel to another planet, per se. Or I, feed a hungry kid in the dorm. Eventually. I love that we're that NASA is developing this technology. So we've put like the basic ingredients of pizza into like powdered and like oil forms mm -hmm. in these little capsules, and we load them powdered into the powdered carbohydrates. Load all that them into stuff. the printer, and it prints out like a layer of Back dough, to the future too, and then am I right? a layer of sauce, and then a layer <laughs> of cheese. Assumedly, there's a heating process in there. Some. Yeah. Whereas the guys from Soylent, uh, so Soylent, 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 are just like, oh yeah, eat these capsules, you'll be fine. <laughs> it's not eat these capsules, it's eat this powder, but hello. That's their, that's their philosophy, is oh, we've taken all the basic ingredients and made them so that you don't have to make a pizza. Well, according to this, the shelf life of the ingredients is 30 years. That's outstanding. It's probably, I don't know how it would taste, but it's, it's, it's interesting to, to look into. I mean, beyond, um, preparing food for astronauts or space travelers, if you're doing this tourism thing, this could have implications for maybe in a future time when natural food resources are kind of scarce. Ah, uh, yes, that future time that we're also worried about. Yes. When pizza is scarce. <laughs> what Listen, will you. we do? Pizza. How will we survive? Pizza is a food that has a lot of varied ingredients in it. So it's I understand got the three, yeah. why they, well, there could be toppings. I don't know. If this pizza like prints out little individual pepperonis and olives, yeah. is that a thing? Is that what we're doing here, Kim? I don't know, but I love it. Especially little, you know, pepperoni capsules that have been sitting on the shelf for 30 years. Let me just load those well, up and make myself pizza. It's the powdered ingredients of pepperoni, yeah. maybe. I don't, I don't know if they're doing toppings or not. It was not explicitly said uh, what they would be doing in this project. I think that sounds awesome, though. I would eat it. I would try to eat it. I would also try to eat it. So 30 years though, I mean, th there's, if, if it's not terrible, uh, that's, that's outstanding for it to last that long and to, for us to be able to store food in that way, you're, you know. 
That's like <laughs> saying, oh, we made these awesome VHS tapes that are going to last 100 years. Well, in 100 years, nobody's going to have VCRs anymore. Like, we're going to be past 3D printers in 30 years. Mm, well, it may evolve into some other cooler technology. Or the cartridges will have changed. Well, we've already, I, I'm like wondering every printer I've ever how bought. much this will cost. Because we've already seen 3D printed meat or hamburgers printed from um, living cells. This, is, of course, is not living cells. It's powderized ingredients. And it was exponentially expensive, prohibitively so. So maybe this is like just a cheaper alternative. I hope. I hope it doesn't end up being so expensive to create. I also hope that. Because it's very important that we keep pizza technology alive. Cost down. <laughs> Got to make this pizza tech I don't want to see a future with no pizza.